For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Let's see uh, not just environment which I have used in this uh, um, course. So basically, I have these are virtual machines. So I have installed the VMware Workstation. On top of that, I have uh, created uh, these VMs and uh, IP uh, with this different IP series. And uh, so one is the Najo server, which is najos.techrkt.local, and the IP address is this one, which is installed with the Najo core server, which is a CentOS 7 operating system. Because I see some issues with this uh, CentOS 8, which is the PHP based errors. Uh, and the graphing services is not working properly in the CentOS 8. So uh, that's why I choose to have a CentOS 7 is a compatible version, though all the services are working fine on this uh, Nacho server. So it's, it's your wish, you can install Nacho 7, CentOS 7 or CentOS 8. So or anything you can if you want. So you can also use Ubuntu platforms or you can so you can also use Red Hat or the SUSE platform to install this Nagio score. The process is similar what we use in this um, course. Okay. And uh, ADC, so which is an Active Directory server I have, which is installed with the NS Client++, plus plus, which is a Windows 2019 operating system. And I have Ubuntu, which is uh, installed with the NRPE agent and which is an a Ubuntu 20.04 operating system and I have Windows 7 uh, which is installed with the NCPA and Windows 7 operating system and CentOS 8 which is also installed with NCPA and CentOS 8 and Windows 2008 I have with the SNMP installed and configured in it um, and CentOS 7, another client I have with the SNMP enabled. Um, and one more I have is that router, which is uh, configured the SNMP monitoring the agent list and which has a Cisco IOS operating system. So this is the uh, environment example. You can use the VMware platform or if you have the any Docker container technologies like uh, example container technologies like Docker, Kubernetes or uh, uh, maybe a background or virtual box anything you can use to uh, spin up the virtual machines and you can work on them but here um, as a lab i am using the vmware workstation where i am compatible on this so in order to create the uh, virtual machine so first of all i am going to open the VMware workstation and create the new folder so the new folder called Najos underscore lab under this I'm just going to create the virtual machine file you can say new virtual machine and uh, click next then you can select the appropriate version which you want and do not select any ISO version uh, just click next and select the Linux and select CentOS 7 click next then provide the virtual machine name here and click next now provide the appropriate uh, uh, process course required so I am just providing 2 to so which is going to be a 4 course and uh, provide the RAM so for the server maybe we require at least 4 GB RAM in this case I am just providing 8 GB for this and click next now click next so appropriate NAT settings then click next the hard drive settings then uh, next then say 30 GB is required for us if you have more space you can assign but this was required and store in a single file and click next then now you can just customize the hardware or you can also just click finish and go to edit settings so I'm just moving this VM to the folder and now click edit settings So here unrequired uh, drivers are the devices you can just remove like uh, printers and USB devices which are not required on this VM 
now you can just uh, select browse cd dvd drive and browse for the centos 7 iso so i already downloaded and keep it ready for this and just select that uh, centos 7 iso and say connect connected so while powering on it should be connected tick mark that value and power on the virtual machine now select install centos 7 enter now hit enter whenever you hit enter it will automatically uh, go through the few screens then it will launch into the graphical user interface here and select the appropriate language is you required and click next so I in this case I selected English English and you can set the date by clicking on the date and time so my time zone is IST so I just selected the IST time zone and you can select the keyboard language if you want to change it you can change it or the OS installation should be minimal and now I'm configuring the hard drive so I select manually configure my hard drive and click done now say create the partition which is boot so I'm go providing 2 GB for the boot and I'm going to create one more partition which is uh, slash user so slash var is not particularly required to create you just select slash user and say i'm just going to give uh, 10 gb in this case if you have more space you can just give it okay now i'm just going to create the swap partition so always swap partition is ram into two so you can give any okay and now again add the plus sign and remaining space do not provide any space so it will take to the slash and click done and accept the changes now you can just change the security settings and the KDM settings if you want so switch on the virtual machine network and uh, change the name so in this case I am just going to assign the host name is uh, not just core dot techyarkit dot local and click okay so now the settings is on now click on the configure so this is actually DSCP settings I would like to assign this to the manual settings say add and provide the virtual IP address so here 192.168.175.200 but in this case I just uh, in, in place of 175 I just use 29 network here 255.255.255.0 and the gateway address 192.168.29.2 and use the DNS IP address that's all we required and if you have the domain name you can just say domain name such domain name you can just give it and uh, ipv6 you just say ignore otherwise it it might create problems later on so now that's it click done so ip is assigned host name is assigned and you just change the security policy here and i'm just switching off the security policy because this will create a lot of problems later on and now click begin the installation so after this you can just click on the root password here and assign the root password whatever the root password you assigned remember it and click done it should be strong enough and uh, I would like to create one more user as the administrator to log into the server so it say here Ravi my name is I'm just providing here and you can also choose the username and uh, tick mark it for a administrator so later on if you want to change any administrator tasks so that will be helpful so now leave it it will take some time to uh, complete this package installations after that it will ask you for the reboot and click on the reboot button so it will reboot your virtual machine then again it boot up it comes to the login screen so first time it will take little time to 
come up as a login screen now you just provide your username and password and login in this case I'm using I'm using here my username uh, which is just created uh, a Ravi and I just log in with the same password and later on I just uh, convert as a root so now run m update iPhone Y to update the packages so before installing anything you just make it sure that all the packages are up to date so you no need to again update and create the problems okay so make sure that all the packages are updated that's it that's all uh, we required now and to switch off the um, sc linux security uh, to edit uh, slash etc sc linux the configuration file and make sure that the sc linux should be in disabled mode and save the configuration and also switch off the firewall so it is not required firewall so i'm just stopping it system ctl stop firewall d and mask the firewall d so anyone you want to mask it then anybody wanted to start it also it should not start so that's why we system ctl mask firewall d and reboot your machine to load your sc linux and log into the server via ssh so that what we required and open the putty session here and type your server ip address the which you have assigned and click open and it will ask you for the username and password provide that and the server will be logged in so make sure that your ssh service is running on the server otherwise it won't connect similar like centos so i already created the windows uh, virtual machine here so i'm editing the virtual machine settings and click on the dvd cd cd and dvd rom and select the usb iso file browse it and go to the drive path where iso is available and select the appropriate iso here i'm selecting me windows 2019 iso and click open and click ok make sure that that's connect on power on is tick marked then power on the virtual machine so it will take a moment to load this iso and load the screen so now after loading the screen you can see that uh, which is the language settings and the location settings you can just select it and click next then click on install now then it will load the another screen and here select the desktop version click next because we need the GUI interface to install the client and select the license agreement and click on the custom installation and uh, select new partition and click apply and it will create the new partition select the partition and click next so it will take a while to complete this installation uh, after that installation then it will take a moment to restart the virtual machine within 10 seconds so it will automatically reboot then after that it will load the virtual machine so it will boot into the windows os so the as of now windows os installation is completed then it is rebooting to load with the windows so it will take some time a few minutes it will take then it will ask you for the administrator password to create so you have to enter the strong password otherwise it does not accept so minimum it should have eight characters with the upper character and the special character here so i am just using around 13 characters password then let's finish so once you click finish it will uh, go into the login screen and you have to send the control alt delete from the settings so the vm console so 
click on that VM name and send the control alt delete macro so then it will ask you to enter the password which you just created the while booting the windows now it will actually logging into the screen now you have to install the VMware tools to provide the biggest screen resolution and mouse and uh, keyboard controls so otherwise it will have some striking striking mechanism if you install the scrolling of the mouse and the keyboard works very well then let's say that um, it's simple that next and select the complete installation next start so it will take a few minutes and it will say that the installation should be completed kick finish then after that it will ask you to reboot your machine so after clicking the finish you have to reboot your windows machine you can see that the screen resolution is changing now it's changed the resolution and click finish and reboot yes rename the windows machine so click on start and look for the pc and click on the properties of the pc then click on the settings now change and uh, you can type the machine computer name in the computer name here and you can just type let's say adc and click ok then after that it will ask you for the reboot so click ok again click close then restart now so after restart your windows machine is re renamed and open the server configuration manager and click on the add roles and features and select this computer and click next and select the active directory services and dns and click next and click next next and say install so now it will take a time to install the feature meanwhile you can just close the window here and click on the the installed uh, here and uh, say promote this server to the domain controller and provide the domain controller name so I'm going to create a new forest here which is a new server new ID domain controller so that's why I just say that new forest and to provide the domain name is takecarekit.local and uh, set this administrator password here which should be strong enough so I'm setting the password and re reconfirming the same and click next click next and netbias name will be out of fetched and after that you just again click next now click next and next so it will verify the prerequisites and click install after that it will take a while to install and it asks you for the close the window and you can close the window and it will automatically reboot your server and which is successfully install the active directory services in the server that's about it guys uh, thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses if you want to join the uh, whatsapp group the link is given below on the description click on the link and join the whatsapp group for connecting with more technical people